amazing performance. That was. I know, I know. Thanks. One thing's for sure, Lauren. Not only has he became incredible, but we definitely have two angels looking down on us. Oh, for sure. It has been a tough week, as you know. Yeah. Our mother died 21 years ago, 22 years ago, at the first annual convention. And our father died just this past Sunday. We put him to rest at a very young yeah. age. But because of our Mark in America family and our Shop.com family, right. we're able to be up here. That's right. Because I think my dad probably said, hey, I'm not going to wait till this week and kind of blow out the convention because nobody will be able to go. Nobody will be able to speak on stage. <laughs> JR would have wiped JR out, me out, Mark out, Brandy out, Steve yeah. out. And my mom probably was saying, what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we are happy to be here. Thank you for that beautiful tribute, Dwayne. That was Absolutely. beautiful. You know, this entire weekend, you know, we felt like proud parents of social media. On Thursday, on Friday, all we've heard is people talk about the success that they are having on Facebook, the success that they are having opening new countries. Okay, we did I like switch. this side better. No worries. <laughs> The, um, the success that they're having opening new countries on social media, as well as how it's just helping them grow their business. Yeah. And it's making us realize that you guys are getting it. You guys, you know, if I was to say, yeah. if we could create a hashtag, I would say, are UFOs or hashtag crushing it on social <laughs> media. But you know. Um, I like calling this presentation, by the way, socialnomics. Right. And the reason why we're calling it social nomics is because we are changing the way we do business through social media, right? It's transforming the way we do business. Right. I mean, the thing is, is that social media is the world's largest referral network. Everybody is on it. Everybody is going to it to make connections, to meet people, as well as to see people they haven't seen in a long period of time. Yeah, think about that. Social media is the largest referral network in history. Yeah in history. It did what we started doing 22 years ago, but it started using megaphones to reach and amplify millions of people, thousands of people at one time. And we're able to do that through so, 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 social media. And finally, the world is starting to connect using it, right? No longer do we look for the news. The news finds us. No longer do we search for products. We come across them through peer recommendations on social media. Everything we do and get is some type of reflection of social media. Think about that. So who would have thought five years ago even that anybody would have believed that social media could be this big? More people spend time on Facebook than they do with their family. It's true, you're laughing because some of you are guilty of it. <laughs> I get it. I have to remind my husband when he tells me, babe, I'm just trying to finish up one more thing. And I'm like, if that's one more post, I will kill you. Get off Facebook right now. There is a time and place, right? Right, there is. But you know what? It's all about connecting. It's all about building relationships that last, building a network of connections, whether it be through personal interests, whether it be through past relationships, or whether it be just through your friends and family. It's about joining a community and creating a persona. It's about really engaging with who you're looking for and the right prospects and the right people that you want to surround yourself with. It's about engaging in conversation. This is a two-way street here. There's just a two-way communication. No longer are we just simply blasting out information. We are blasting out information and then all, we are getting immediate feedback because of social networks. Right. You know, social media, it's not about being everywhere. Not everybody needs to be on 15 different social media sites. It's not about being on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Line, every single one of them. It's about being great and present at the ones that you are. It's about picking, a hand, picking one, two, or three social media networks and actually excelling at them. Be there for a reason. Don't just simply just go on there and just say, here I am, come find me. 
actually be there for a reason by communicating what you want. I love that shirt, Steve, that he you had You know, on. perhaps leave a couple messages unanswered. Talk to your audience, but leave it open-ended. Find out who's got what to say. It's all about the conversation. And I think, I think what's really important to understand is social media is a conversation, right? In, in real life, right, when somebody follows us, we're scared to death. Right. But on social media, when somebody follow us, follows us, we're super excited. Life has changed so much yeah. over the years. You know, it's so funny, Steve and I were watching this video the other day and this guy came up to this girl and he was like in the middle of the street and he was recording this. Of course, she had no idea he was recording it. And he was like, oh my God, Steve, how are you? You look fantastic. How's Gamble, your dog, doing? And I heard about your dad. I'm so sorry. I hope everything's well. And Steve thinks that I'm crazy. How do I know all these things about him? Serial stalker is what I say. He thinks serial stalker, but we forget how much information we share. How much information we share. So when you're sharing information, make sure it's relevant to what you're trying to accomplish. There's really, it's really important technique that you're posting things that you, have. it's always great to post things about yourself. It's a way to connect with people. People won't connect with you unless they know something about you. People don't care about how much you know, they care about how much you care. That's how people are. And just posting to post doesn't work. You have to post about what you think you care about that other people may connect with, which is what's gonna gain you followers. That's right. You know, and also when somebody responds to you, respond back to them. You know, be prompt, you know, talk to people, engage with the conversation. It's there to help you connect with those individuals. But a lot of what we're gonna talk about today is about content creation. What to say, on Facebook, what to say on LinkedIn and other social networks, because it's all about making it a habit. It's about repetition and what you say that's gonna lead to the right people. Treat your community like, um, um, like people, not numbers. You know, Lauren, it amazes me. So many people are so worried about, oh my goodness, I need 100 followers. Or I need 100 likes. likes. And they start getting freaked out by what the like means. It's more about how engaged your audience is. And you, you know, know, one thing you should do is take inventory right. of what people are liking versus what they're not liking. One of the things that always surprises me is people always like personal posts more than they care about what I post about my business or anything else. Right. Now that shouldn't really surprise me because I know that people want to connect with somebody they feel comfortable with. I'm a mom. I'm a grandmom. I'm a wife. I'm a businesswoman. I juggle a lot of things. There are a lot of women like me. We're trying to figure out how do we juggle all these things and we stick together, don't we? There's many of us. And so I try to connect to that audience. That's my audience. Those are the people I can connect with and I can relate to. So the most important thing you can do is not worry about how many likes you get. Just pay attention to what they are liking and then post more of that. That's right. You know, you want to get more fans and followers, you simply need to create better content. Work harder on those relationships. Actually spending the time to realize what your audience wants to hear from you and why they even followed you in the first place. Yeah. And provide the content so that you are that industry leader, that industry standard. Listen, then talk. Yeah, we call that the give, give, take. Yes. So before you start talking on social media, remember it's still a little bit different than what you do in person. Yes, it's very similar when you're talking to your friends and everybody's sharing content and information when you're having a conversation. But when you're on social media and you're engaging with friends who are now your friends who you didn't know before, you have to give, give, take before you take anything. You have to give something. So for instance, give them interesting content. Ask them questions. Right. Give them a special offer. Give them a deal, right? Make them feel engaged before you ask them for something. Before you ask them to like your page. 
before you ask them to follow your page. You have to do what we call the give, give, take. That's right. You know, make it more about them because ultimately you want to excite your audience. You want to get them to be motivated to either click on a link that you provided in your post or to at least engage with that post. Most marketers treat social media as a distribution channel. So what they do is, is that they blast the same garbage over and over and over it at you. And what people do is they turn you out. It's not about that with social media. They are missing the fact that this is a two-way interaction, that this is a conversation happening between two individuals, not just I'm sharing my content so you have to absorb it. This is that communication pattern. It's about adding value. And with the value, the trick is, is you have to understand that all platforms work differently. You know, what I say on Facebook is gonna be very different than what I say on Pinterest because the user demographic and what their expectation is, is very different. And we'll talk about that here in a second. It's also very different from what an Instagram user wants. You have to understand what the, what the audience is and provide the relevant content for that audience. And I think that's important too, Steve, because when you talk about Instagram, right, it's a yeah. very visual world today, right? We can tell a story through pictures. Or when you talk about Pinterest, it's the same thing. We tell a story through mm -hmm. pictures. And we end up following people and their boards because we like the pictures that they post. Yet Instagram is made up of a mixture of men and women, and Pinterest is made up of 90% women. Yeah. So you have to know the difference on what you're posting and who you're posting to. That's right. You know, perfect example, selfies. Selfies are perfect on Instagram, not so much on LinkedIn. For sure, and not on Pinterest either. And not on Pinterest either. Probably not on Facebook too much either. Well, sometimes, Instagram, but we like it. We, we do our selfies. We, you know did our Ellen, we did our Ellen selfie the but other so day, right? Because, just because you said that. Okay, hold on. No, do it. <laughs> we got peeps. No, it's okay. You could just every. We're gonna take a selfie with them in a minute. No, this way actually. Let's take a selfie okay, with them. Okay, perfect. Everybody smile. Now let me do it. Whoop. You don't know how to do it right. I don't do selfies well. Everybody up, 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 up. This is the best Ellen selfie. Got Perfect. it. Perfect. All right. We're posting that. That's going up. Absolutely. Let's take, if you're a visual person, you love photography, you're, you're, you're drawn by pictures, Pinterest and Instagram, obviously the perfect platforms for you to be on. By the way, that is going to be a very much like selfie. Think about it. That's probably the largest selfie ever taken. There's 20,000 people and just you and me with all these people behind us. Think about all the questions people are going to be asking, like what's going on over there? That's right. 20,000 crazy people in the room taking a selfie. That's pretty cool, right? right. And that's the type of content you want to stir up. You know, news information, contacts, uh, you know, Twitter and LinkedIn, you know, I, I personally love Twitter. I'm on it all the time. You know, I love it for, I, that's how I get all my news, all my information. That's how I stay in touch with my industries that I believe in, as well as communicate with other industry leaders, which is building a prospect base for me. Make sure your description is up to date and that you regularly update it. Why is this important? Because when you update your information, then that actually gets pushed up on the news feeds of the different platforms. So now people start saying, wow, Lauren just received the two, you know, just received Forbes best, you know, um, best blogs, you know, of 2014. She's going to post that on her bio. All of a sudden, that's going to be pushed up so everybody can see. And think about that, guys. People want to hear relevant information from you. So if you only post once a week, don't expect anybody to follow you because they don't know when you post. Be consistent and post something at least every day because then you're giving people reason to come back daily. And then, just again, don't post too much 
because we might unfollow you. Yes. So you have to think about that. You have to think about the balance. Just like you wouldn't see your friends every single day and drive each other crazy, right? I mean, everybody needs a little time down. That's the point. You know, so filter through the networks and master a few. Whether you want to focus in on a line, a Facebook, a Weibo, a LinkedIn, whatever the case may be, focus on just a few platforms and master them. Understand what the audience is and master that. Here's a little bit of a breakdown of the different audiences, what they're looking for. You know, so if I'm on Facebook, I know my audience is looking for text, photos, videos, and links. Perfect opportunities for me to share what I do, um, what I do as an unfranchised owner. And all types of people are hanging out on Facebook, Absolutely. whether it be young or old. And then Twitter, of course, is young entrepreneurial adults because it's mass media. You can get the media out there really fast. It's a loud, amplified message. And the cool thing I like about Twitter is, and we've told you this before, on Facebook, you can follow your friends and they can follow you. <laughs> but you can't always see what somebody posts on Facebook if they're not your friend. But on Twitter, you can follow anybody, and you can see anything that they're posting to their people, and you can post to somebody who's not following you, and all of the people who follow them see it, making your message spread much longer, a further reach, and that's important. You know, LinkedIn for business, like Lauren, you said, Pinterest is for women and for foodies. You know, when Google Plus is for men, for students, for software developers, it's a great way to boost up your organic um, search engine content by pushing, by pushing your content also to Google Plus. Let's talk about some of the individual um, platforms. Facebook. One of the immediate ways to generate likes on your page, and I would recommend that everybody have two different, um, different things on Facebook, a profile as well as a page. A profile is just you being personal. So it's, you know, so, it, so it's Keith reaching out to his friends, his family, his close friends, et cetera, and having them join his profile page so that they can keep up with Keith. Then Keith would build a page, and this would show Keith as an industry leader in one-to-one -one marketing. It would attract the people so that he could actually not only share his wisdom, but also be able to share his business. That's the appropriate place for you to find your people and to push out the business. One of the cool things that I should mention is, is that when you do the profile of who you are, what your identity is on all of these social media sites. Make sure they're similar and make sure you're using the same photo. Why? Because if you use a photo of your dog on Facebook and a photo of your cat on Twitter and a photo of your, yourself on Pinterest and a different photo on LinkedIn, nobody's going to know who you are on the other platforms. There's a lot of people with the same names or similar names. Post the same image so they can easily find you. Make it easy for people to say, oh, you know what, I follow her on Facebook, I wanna follow her on Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever it is. Correct. Make sure that when you're talking about brands or when you're talking about personalities, that you tag those individuals in your status update so that they actually get to see it on their page and so that that way they can communicate with you as, a, as an individual. Now think about it on Facebook, there are a lot of people. How many of you had somebody comment on a photo, right? But you didn't necessarily know who they were at first. How many of you? Just a show of hands. Everybody almost, right? Everybody's almost commenting on a photo that you've put up and you didn't know who they were. And then how many of you had that same person comment again? Most everybody, right? Now here's what happens is we become friends socially, don't we? We become friends socially, and those are the people that you're gonna be able to prospect into the business, because they're gaining their trust in you. In fact, they like you. They're commenting on your photos. You can actually engage with them, and you should. If somebody comments, especially comments more than once, you should be having a two-way conversation with them.
Absolutely. And, the, and one of the biggest things you can do on Facebook is always add an image to every piece of content that yeah. you post up there. The reason for this is not only is it engaging to your audience and draws your eye, but it actually increases your edge rank within Facebook. So what Facebook says is, is that if, if, um, if, you know, if Lauren posts a picture with her status update, instead of only 50% instead of, of her audience seeing it, they're going to show it to 70% of, of her audience, et cetera. So always post that image. One of the other things I was just going to mention, no, you don't need to go back, but one of the things I was going to mention, how do you find out what people are wanting to talk about? That's what we use hashtags for, right? right? So you can always find out what the most relevant or most popular hashtags are, right? So like for instance, when Target is launching a new line of clothing that's a popular designer like Peter Pilato or you know, Isabel Morant, and they're posting images because they're gonna launch in the stores with this expensive designer at affordable prices, I'm always gonna make sure that I'm gonna tag that Target is one of our stores. I'm gonna put the same dress up on my website and on my Facebook so they can see they buy the same dress that people are standing in line for four hours for outside of Target that sells out in your size when you get there, that sells out in the color you want when you got to Target. And I'm going to tell people, guess what? Don't stress out, because we ain't stressing, right, Joe? We ain't stressing. And tell people to come to my site and pick up the same dress at Target and get cash back and never have to leave the comfort of their home. Does that make sense? Yes. That's called relevant content. Are you guys getting this? You know, always make sure that you mix in call to actions into your post. Yeah. You know, say, like this post. If you agree with this post, like it. Don't do it too often because Facebook will penalize you. However, do it, on, do it when it matters. Mix up your content with photos, with videos. Make people want to consistently see your page and see your post and actually look forward to your post. Offer specials and promotions, which drives huge traffic back to your site and to your blogs. May, give them a reason to want to go to your site, to go to your blog, and then push that content over to them. And the one thing you can always do when you're offering specials or discounts or coupons, and of course, as you know, we launched that new great online coupon admin, which Mark mm -hmm. will talk about later, where you can actually activate a coupon for your website online, and Mark will show you again how to do that if you don't know. One of the cool things you can do is you can always have a special day of the week that you post deals are specials. Why? Because you're training people to come back on that day because they want to see what the special is. So I'm always thinking about my readers and I'm thinking Monday I'm going to do this, Tuesday I'm going to do that, Wednesday I'm going to do that, and after a while it becomes a habit. People are like, I know Mondays is this, so I'm not into that, but Tuesdays I'm going because she always has the best deals. And that's how you do it. All right, so let's talk Twitter. Twitter is a lot about the hashtag. You yeah. know, so use, you know, so go on to Twitter and see what's hot, what's hot, what's popular. Go to the what's trending session, section and actually engage in those conversations while also using the hashtag on that. You know, go to, you know, follow, you know, influencers and comment and retweet on their, on their tweets. But ultimately, the great thing about Twitter is about searching. It's about searching Twitter for everybody's problems because yeah. they are sharing their problems. You know, whether it be about what eyeshadow should I wear? What blush should I wear tonight? I'm out of lipstick. What, any recommendations? Right, you the, can put hashtag, what color eyeshadow do you recommend with the black dress? And you right. will see all the people there who answer. Well, how about answering some motives colors, right? There's so many ways that oh, you yeah, can that Oh, yeah, there's millions hashtag. and millions of conversations. In fact, actually, you know, we had, we had a former blogger who wrote us this past week who said that she goes over, she told um, Lauren and I that she just started consulting for a car dealership, and they, gave her, they told her, you have three months to sell a car on social media. She used our tips and tricks for searching Twitter and sold a car on Twitter in two months because of it. Yeah, she said, I used your training that you guys taught at International Convention. I just sold a car using a hashtag. So the hashtag's a powerful tool. 
It's a really powerful tool because yeah. it's a way for number one, for you to track things and for other people to track things that they're looking for. So if you're trying to spread a message, utilize the hashtag, of course, don't abuse it either. That's right. Because, you know, Instagram, growing in there you popularity. There don't overuse it. <laughs> there you go, don't overuse the hashtag. It, get, you know, it gets to be where the hashtag is meaningless when you're overusing it. You know, use your description to share your thoughts, share how to get it, ask for comments because one thing that's different about Instagram, you can't put in links into Instagram. Right. It's all about simply the picture and what you say about the picture. Most people, if they really love something that they see, they're going to go to your description and your info, and they're going to see where to buy it from that. So make sure your description has that. Take pictures of satisfied Market America customers. You know, utilize your, you know, utilize the testimonials that you get on a daily basis to actually take those photos, take those before and afters, and share those on Instagram. The power of a picture is extremely, is extremely impressive when it comes to selling goods on Instagram. Totally. Now, ideas for content. Many different things that we can talk about on social networks. We can do anything from contest, engaging people into finding out what they think about a product, what they think about a situation, et cetera. Questions, quotes, blog posts. Blogs are a great way for you to communicate more information that you can't share on social media. Photos, videos, there's just so many things that you can talk about on social media. One thing we really want to talk about is infographics. And here is a perfect example of how you can convey information within a pictorial. And here's a perfect one about the Find Your Fit Challenge. How many people want to lose weight and earn money for losing weight? Yeah. And this is a perfect, perfect, perfect scenario for you to push out this Find Your Fit infographic so that to all your audiences say, I'm looking for people who want to learn, lose weight and earn $5,000. Do you want to come on board with me? I love that idea. Think about it. You don't even have to put up the money. We're putting up the money to find the winner, but you get to utilize it like it's your own contest. Mm -hmm. Think about that. You guys are pushing out, you're running a contest to find the best, the person who's gonna win the contest, they're gonna get a huge grand prize. You don't have to put up the money, all you do have to is post and find the person. You know how many people are out there and wanna lose weight? Think about that. That's true. You don't have to put up any money for it, all you have to do is invest yourself in it. Invest some time in it. This business can pay you a million dollars, but you gotta start to learn, learn to treat it like a million dollar business. That's right. This business, we spend millions of dollars. We invest in millions of dollars of technology. You pay $129.95. I know. No. Think about it, it's crazy. So when you start treating this business like you invested a million dollars, I guarantee you'll do everything we're telling you to do for the last three days. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. You know, in case you guys don't know this, on our Pinterest page for the shop for shop.com, we actually post all of our infographics. So all you need to do is go to this page. You not only have US infographics, you have Canadian, you have Taiwan, you have Hong Kong, you have Australia, you have UK. We do this for all international countries because we want you sharing out this content. And if that's not good enough, buy a distributor or a recruiting site, and you can actually move, drag these in. They're already preloaded. You just drag them onto your, web, your, your new distributor recruiting website, and you can actually have that content always on your website. This is the things that we do to make sure that you have the best content to be able to push out. But you know, it's not just about scheduling. You know, a lot of people get caught up to where, oh, I don't want 
want to just go on social media. I'm just going to automate the process. I'm going to schedule out the post. There is nothing like being there in the moment. There's nothing like engaging interactively on time with those that, with that yeah, audience. Think, think about that for a minute. Now, using the tools that you can access like Hootsuite or Social Sprout where you can automate posts, we have to do that too when we do that, especially throughout the middle of the night because we're reaching audiences in different countries everywhere. But it's no different than when in person as it is online. You can't have a relationship with your friends if you don't take time to see them. That's right. Think about it. You have to do the same thing online that you do offline. Does that make sense to you? You have to do the same thing you do offline, online. And that means sometimes showing up. That's right. Right? So we want to now talk about a little bit about our shop trends. You know, and creating a trend that shows our lifestyle. Now, all of these are connected to social media. Think about it. The whole reason that we have trends up there, it's very much like a polyvore type of website, right? You can take anything, any one of our 35 million brands up there, or products up there, and you can add them to a trend and create a trend. So if I want to take the La La Shimmers or some Motives makeup, and I want to tie it into, say, some of the beautiful images that the girls did, the Mavens did, I can add it to my trend, and then I can even take images from Instagram by connecting my trends page to Instagram and pulling any images from Instagram over to create a trend. And then I can find that product on my shop.com website and I can tag it so it has a price and the product is there. So if somebody likes it, not only do they like it, they can buy it. And when they buy it, guess who gets credit for that trend? You. You. Think about that. You get credit for that trend. So if you want to now pull images from Instagram, which is so cool, because there's millions of images on Instagram, you can pull those images from your own Instagram and pull them over. If you want somebody else's images from Instagram, just repost it to your Instagram. Think about it. It's simple. So if you have really good personal style, post your personal style. And then what happens is you become this amazing stylist to people who want to buy everything you post. Everything you post. Think about that. That is so powerful. I love that idea. Now, Steve, what do we got next? But yes. you know what? We get to talk about one of my favorite new product services that we offer. What is that? And when I look at these beautiful pictorials that our mavens are making, and I think about, oh my goodness, you know, how does one create that look? And for that person who creates that look, how do you purchase that look? You know, how do we actually make social media and social content equal ROI? And that's when Lauren, you and Michael Brady worked on a special service. Yeah, you know, Michael did such a great job because we were trying to figure out how we could utilize the 60, 70,000 posts we've gotten over the last four or five months from all of the mavens, all of the beautiful girls, all of the great artists on Instagram who were commenting, buying our products, but sometimes, if they didn't remember that they fell in love with the picture on Instagram, they'd forget to go to Motives Cosmetics, right? And we don't want them to forget to make the purchase. Even though our volume has really doubled in Motives since we launched last July on Instagram, we want people to remember and connect Instagram with Motives, and that's what Olapic does. And Michael Brady did an amazing job with this program and implementing it so fast. By the way, that's another piece of technology that we spend six figures for that you don't have to spend any more money for because it's on your Motives Cosmetic website and everybody here has a Motives website. And we tie in all those Instagram pictures that have the highest likes or the most liked and we do it through hashtag technology. And then that hashtag technology brings those pictures from Instagram exactly as they are over to Motives Cosmetics. So somebody can click on the picture, they can see which artist made the picture, did the work, 
tell you how they did it, and then when you click on it, it tells you the products to purchase. And not only does it tell you the products to purchase, when you choose a specific color, it will also show you all the other Instagram pictures that are used with that same color. Right. Does that make sense to you? That sells a lot of product, folks. That sells a lot and, of products. And the amazing thing also that you can do with that is this is not just going to be for motives. This can be for other product lines. You know, let's think about it. I look at, you know, Kelly Whited and how much weight he's lost. And I'm sure he gets tired of how many people saying, how did you do it? What a great way to show a picture of the before and after. They click on the before and after, and there are all the products that Kelly used in order to lose all that weight. It makes life simple. It makes shopping simple from that. Now let's talk about a brand new interactive Oh, I'm so excited about tool. this. This is such a cool revol uh, revolutionary technology, right? I mean. It is. We've been working on this for a few months. Um, I wanted to figure out a way that we could kind of take what's good about something that's old fashioned and make it kind of like high tech, high touch. So sharing motives and the current products we sell at a home party is a really cool feature because friends love to interact. Friends always love to find a way to get together. But let's face it. People don't have time to just show up at your house anymore. They don't have time to come mingle. Some of you are married to husbands or wives who don't want you to have people come over your house and mingle. It's true. <laughs> and some of you are busy cooking dinner, getting the kids together, but you still want to have fun. Mm -hmm. How can we have an online party without having to go to the party? That's what we wanted to create. And so what we did was we actually created an online virtual interactive tool. I know, and the, you know, before we start talking about the actual tool, we just, you know, Lauren, whenever she gets into a project, she has very aggressive timelines <laughs> that we have to follow. So I just want, we just well, want to give a quick Well, little... not only do I have very aggressive timelines, but I'm very passionate about finishing a project, yeah. even if it wasn't set on the deadline schedule or even yeah. created for timeline. And, I called my team a few months ago because in my mind, I had already do done this project. I just forgot to tell them to program it. <laughs> it was already finished. Like I was thinking, oh my God, this is going to be crazy. It's going to be so good. Yeah. Steve, what do you think? Kimmy, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. And then Steve and Mark were like, you didn't even tell anybody to program it. Mm. And I thought, I can't believe I forgot to do this. And so I called Gene Wallace. And Gene was like, don't worry, don't worry. Let me get Kyle on the phone and see if we can do anything. Of course, Kyle got Ken and the whole team. Can you guys all stand up, please? They're right there in the third row. This is our IT superstars. <laughs> Michael Brady, Gene Wallace, Ken, Ken Wong, Kyle Christensen, all of this team right here, who, by the way, builds this multi-million dollar technology for you. But I called them up and I said, Kyle, let me just tell you my vision. Here's the thing, my vision is already real. I just forgot to program it. And the thing is, I gotta go live in six weeks. No, four weeks, four weeks, right? Four weeks, four weeks. I gotta go live in four weeks. He's like, what do you mean live in four weeks? Like test phase? And I was like, no, 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 I mean live, like the day of the convention. We gotta go live. And he's like, oh, we don't do things like that. I'm like, I know, but we got to. Because this is the coolest program ever and I've already launched it in my mind. I've already test marketed it. <laughs> and he was like, we're going to figure it out. And Kyle and Gene and all of you did such an amazing job that this program is live today. It is live today. And you're so excited, you don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> but it's a great way to host a Motives online party interactive online using technology. Now, for those of you who aren't interested in emotives, don't worry, Gene and Michael and the rest of the team are already working on producing the same technology for our other mini websites. So think about health and nutrition parties. Think about health and nutrition parties. Think about weight loss parties like Stacy. Is it Stacy who does them online? who won last night the award. She did such an amazing job. She hosts weight loss parties on Facebook. 
Think about using this tool for our other websites because that's what we're doing next. That's the next phase, right, Michael and Gene? This is where we're going next. So this, what this tool allows is allows for anyone, including you, to host a Motives cosmetic party. It allows you to be the hostess or anyone you know that has something to do with you, you don't know, you could know them, or you might not. And you can set up your parties in seconds and go live right on the Motives website. You can give your party a theme. What does that mean? Make your party fun. Give it a theme. So maybe it's Lauren's Motives PJ party or Steve's Motives PJ party. Sure. That would be kind of fun. Listen, anytime I can get some PJs on, it's great. Okay, perfect. And checking out some girls and some PJs is kind of fun too. And the reason I like doing themes is because you can create contests with them. So imagine if you're inviting friends to your party, which our party takes place in two places. One on Motives Cosmetics, and it also simultaneously will take place on Facebook. Now, we will be the first interactive tool of its kind. There is one other program online currently that somebody else offers that only allows you to host their party on their website. We will be able to host the party in both places. And we'll be able to post it with all of our products, like I said, coming soon. But the point is you want to give it a theme because you can use that theme to run a contest. So you could say, hey, everybody, the party's going to start in six minutes. Why don't everybody take a picture of themselves with their PJs on? Everybody post the picture of, their, of themselves in their picture of their PJs, and I'm going to announce the winner, and the winner's going to get a free lipstick. See, you can use the themes to create contests. One of my other favorite contests to use online, and the reason I talk about contests online is remember, going to a physical party and going to a party online are two different things, right? You have to create interesting, engaging content. So think of it, and you can, you can turn this page, Steve, because I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself, Good. but I love that I told you I've already test marketed and done this program already. You guys are just learning it now. <laughs> so my point is, the other contest I like to use, people are like, how do you do games online? What kind of games can I do to keep people interested? Another game I like to do online, and I did this in the test period. You can ask Steve, uh, Michael, Gene, Mark, Andrew, all of us got in a test period, and I came under an assumptuous fake name because I wanted to invite people to a modus party when I was testing this, and I wanted to test it under not my name, but somebody else's name, and people didn't know who I was, and I invited them to a closed motives party, and I wanted to engage with them, and we had, on the average, if I invited about 20 people, I had about five or six people show up not knowing who I was. And on average, per party, I was selling about five to $600 per day. Now, that was about 295 BV. And we're going to get there in a minute. But that's a lot for me going on there for just a few hours. Think about that. I don't have to leave my home. I don't have to get dressed. I don't have to put on makeup. I can literally have a party right online and set it up that way. Now, I know I, I forgot what I was going to say several times. But let me tell you what's going to happen. You're going to go to the host section of Motives. And under the host section of motives, if you're not a registered customer or a UFO, and somebody wants to host, they end up on Motives Cosmetics on Pam's page, which happens a lot, they can register as a customer. As soon as, as, they, as, soon as they register, it'll allow somebody to create a party. Now, to give you an idea of how many people want to be a hostess of a party, we get about 600 leads per week. Those are in person. Imagine when people find out, Al, that yeah. we're doing them online. How many people do you think will want to do an online party where they don't have to get dressed up, they don't have to clean the house, they don't have to sweep the floors, they don't have to put on makeup, they don't even have to worry about messing up and getting their husband upset because they're going to have their friends over. They can do it all from the comfort of their own home, as Steve said, in their PJs, on their computer, in bed, and invite people to the party. And all they have to do is engage people. Now, watch this. You click the button that says create my party. You see those colors up there, the little turquoise, the yellow, the white, the peach, the pink, the purple. You can actually highlight any one of those and customize and change the color of your party. You get to customize the color and the theme of your party. You enter your name. 
whoever's the host. If that's you, the UFO, you enter your name. If it's your friend who wants to host a party, you enter her name, or she enters her name. Or if it's somebody you don't know and they just end up on your website, they'll go there and enter their name. Then you're gonna create a name of your party. I do not recommend Lauren's online party. I did not create that one. I recommend a cool name. Like I said, Lauren's Moda's PJ Party. Jim definitely did a PJ party online for Motives. <laughs> and he liked it. And he even took a picture of himself and posted it at his party in his PJs. And that's what you can do. You can create a lot of fun by doing those things. After you put the name of your party in there, you can write your own message or you can leave our default message, which basically says, welcome to Motives Cosmetics Online. This party means, I mean, uh, welcome to my Modus Cosmetics Online party. This means that this party is done 100% online. No need to leave your house. Let's shop, get gorgeous, and party virtually. I can't wait to share with you all the beautiful looks you can achieve with Modus Cosmetics. Plus, you'll get 10% off made off any purchases during the duration of my party. Let's party and get gorgeous together. Now. How do they get 10% off? That comes from your retail profit. Big deal. If you have somebody host a party for you and they're inviting their friends who you didn't know anyway, who cares if you give them 10% off? It's one time. You're getting the customer for life. So you take less money in the beginning so you can make more in the end. Does that make sense to you? Well, guess what? Our team over here didn't even want you to worry about how you calculated the 10% off, because if they come to your party during the duration of your party, they'll automatically deduct the 10% off at checkout. So you don't even have to worry about that. Sure. Then, of course, go back, I'm sorry. You'll choose when you want to host your party. There's a calendar on the interactive tool. You can choose three days, five days, or 10 days. Totally up to you. For me, I personally like three days. I test marketed it, three to five days were the most popular. Sometimes we did a 10-day party. Why did we do that? We, we chose a 10-day party so we could have seven days to promote it. But it, we didn't physically start the party on Facebook until the three days before the 10th day, on the seventh day. And we did that so we could blow it up and promote it more, if that makes sense to you. So it's totally up to you. But whenever you schedule your party, it'll tell you when your party will start and end. And all parties run midnight to midnight. Now, you can choose which category shows up first at your party on the website. Now, that doesn't mean they can't shop all products. It'll tell them they can shop all products, but this is just another way for you to personalize it. So suppose we choose eyes. Now, you say, Tony, I know you don't know how to apply makeup. Don't worry, me either. Here's what we do. We get to use all of our beautiful Maven's gorgeous girls' pictures over there that are preloaded in there for you already at the party so you don't have to do any work and you can choose three of your favorite looks to post at your party. So now you can just talk about what's so beautiful about these pictures, because she already tells you how to use the products, how to get the look with the products. All you have to do is post the picture. And we give you an option of three looks, and we have it preloaded with over 100 pictures, and we'll add about 100 pictures per week to the party, so you can choose as many pictures eventually as you want to feature at your party. So you don't even have to do any of the work. It's already been done for you. And then you click the button that says, save my party. Here's what happens. You get an, uh, uh, you'll see your party has just gone live. On your page, if you clicked your party to start right then and there, you'll have a, a little pink little ribbon. It'll say party's open. It's official on your website. This is Amanda's Facebook party. Welcome to my uh, Modus Cosmetic Online party. We talked about this. Start shopping and enjoy 10% off your order. Now, when you, there will be two ways you will see this post. I wanna let you know now, we're doing what Michael loves to do called A-B testing, right? You will see as the customer, I mean as the UFO, 
don't worry about which one comes up. We're testing it for you. And this was basically, I don't know where Shane is, but it was Shane's idea. And it's a great idea because I, I actually showed him the progr program prior. You can see where it says right here, start shopping and enjoy 10% off my order. There's also a Facebook share button there on the right. Now, as soon as the party goes live, the hostess, of course, wants to share this on her Facebook, if the party's live then. Now, also, anybody who goes to their party, you'll see in a few minutes, we ask them to share this on their Facebook as well. But more importantly, we wanted to do a test to see what would happen if this came up two ways. Sometimes it'll come up like this, and other times for a party, it'll come up, and that Facebook share button will be where Amanda Lewis's party host name is. You see that little section? And what it'll say is, if you share this on your Facebook wall, you'll get 10% off your order. What does that do to your party? What does that do to your party? It makes your party go viral. It gets people to share that party in order to think they're getting 10% off. Now, they'll get 10% off anyway. That's okay. But the only people who will know that is the people who didn't share it on Facebook, who didn't have Facebook, which is very few people. And we won't have to worry about that going viral. Right, Steve? Right. So do you see what I'm saying? We're going to test this two ways to see how it works. And then we'll be able to determine. We're doing a lot of Adobe testing. Right, Steve? Mm -hmm. So this is how we determine what people like better when they click. Now, if you remember, if I chose face products, that would be my category. Those would be my three looks I featured. This is my party live on my page. This is my party live on my website. And I can't go up to show you because the way this picture is, is, the way the screen is scrolling, but you'll see it on the video in a minute. Can you go back a second, one second, Steve, and just roll it again slow? So you can see there's the category section that we just chose when it asks us to take our party live. The next thing you'll see is the three looks that you chose with the products that they can purchase or it says they can buy all the products. And right below it, it says, please help me reach my goal by spreading the word 225 hours left. So what it is, is it's a timer that basically tells you when the party is going to end. And the reason we do that is we're trying to create a sense of urgency for people to take advantage of the 10% off, of course. But more importantly, when you have a hostess who says, hey, do you mind, Pam, would you mind helping me reach my goal? I'm really trying to help me reach my goal. And you see that Pam's your friend. She's likely going to pick up a lipstick or a lip liner to help you out. And part of the key that we did in testing was figuring out that those were magic words. Right, Steve? It's like Kickstarter. People will donate $10 for a recipe for somebody to end up making, like, I don't know what that guy made, $150,000 for a potato salad. Go figure. All you're asking people to do is help you reach your goal by buying a lipstick. Or when we launch it on Isotonics and OPC3. You see what I'm saying? So that is a big part of the key. Big part of the key is asking people to help you reach your goal. And then, of course, sharing it with you. As soon as somebody schedules a motives party, they get an email that tells them, hey, your party's been scheduled live, or when your party's been scheduled for. You, as a UFO, also get an email, which is the next one, that says a new Motives online party has been scheduled on your website. Why? The only reason you're getting that email is because I expect you to take action. Please don't be one of those people who get the email, sit around, and don't treat this business like a million dollar business. Lots of money went into creating this program, those guys will tell you, and it cost me lots of overtime to get it done. That's a lot more money. My point is this. When you get the email that says, hey, you've got a party live online your website, I want you to do something about it. Now I'm going to make it easy for you. I've actually created all the tools you need. I have a full PDF that's about five, 50 pages on one, 25 pages on the other. They're divided by sections. One if you're the UFO and you're hosting the party, one if somebody you know is hosting the party, and one if somebody you don't, don't know is hosting the party. And they're three, D, three PDFs, and they encompass all the posts, what you should say, what the text should say, the pictures for you to post on Facebook. All the work's been done for you because I did it myself for you. Okay? So, if you know how to paste and copy, all you have to do is do that to have a successful party. 
These are the exact same letters that Steve and I used when we did launch parties. This is the exact same pictures that Steve and I used when we did launch parties. Now, I will tell you this. You will not find it up there this week. You will see the PDFs, PDFs up next week, and here's why. Not only did we have to bury our father this past Sunday, but the day that we were coming to a convention, JR and I were robbed. And they broke into our house while we were sleeping the other night, and the, the only thing they took was my carry-on bag. Of all the things they could have taken in front of them, they took my carry-on bag. Why? Because they thought my jewelry was in it. But the jewelry was moved an hour before thanks to my assistant. But the one thing they did take was all my PDFs. And they were gonna go live. So I have to go back to my computer when I get home, back to New York, to get those PDFs to put them back online for you. So next week you will have those PDFs, but don't worry, karma's a bad thing for people who take people's things. And thankfully, thankfully, my husband kept reminding me that that PDF got in my bag somehow or another, and I did save it on my computer, and I thought I didn't, and I thought I was devastated, but all the work's been done for you. So Monday or Tuesday, Kim's going to get it. She and the team will post it up, and it'll basically be something you can download, and here's how it'll work. Once you get that email, you'll go to your back office. You'll download either the PDF, if it's you who's doing the hostessing, so you can just take that material, paste and copy it, and start your party. Or if it's a friend of yours who's hosting a party. By the way, the hostess gets 15% of the total party sales in free product. In free product. Now, not 15% on her personal order, but 15% on everybody else's order in free product. That makes us competitive with what's out there. The 10% discount that you're giving to shoppers, nobody has anywhere online. One thing Michael and I and Jean figured out the other day was, we know why they don't have it online. Because you know how hard it is for me to track and them to track the 10% off, not your customer's order, but your hostess's friend. So we had to put a new tracking system in place, if that makes sense to you. We didn't have that report. We didn't have that tracking system. When you think about the details, you start to really appreciate the IT team. Our business, our business is complicated. Now, here, see this image right here? You're the only person as a UFO sees this. You're the only person as a UFO who sees this. This is your online parties. Does that mean you're hostessing them? Some maybe yes, some maybe no. It'll tell you who the hostess is under the party host name. This is right when you log in on Modas. Once you're logged in, Pam, you can go in the back and you can see how many people you know or don't know who are running a party. Now you should know them all because you should have made contact with them. Soon as you get that email, you want to be like, hey, Elizabeth, how are you? I want to make your party as successful as possible. There's a few tips and tricks that I know exactly what to do. I can take all the guesswork out of it for you because I want you to earn as many free products as you can. I'm so looking forward to working with you. Let me help you with the things that you're going to put up. I need you, Elizabeth, to invite your friends because, see, I don't know your friends. They'll feel more comfortable if the invite comes from you. So I'll tell you what. I've made an email for you, Elizabeth, that you can give to your friends, and they'll listen to it because it's coming directly from you. Now, does that sound okay for you? Now, you know what, not only do I want you to send that email out to your friends through Facebook, but I want you to send them a personal email because I found that that makes the party more successful. Does that sound right to you? Now, those are the type of things you're gonna get in the PDF. Those are the type of things that we've worked on. Those are the type of things I've created so you don't have to think about it. Men, if you didn't do motives before, you can do motives now. You can do motives now. Once you set up your party, of course, I always teach everybody, not only will you get the link in the email that Market America and Motive sends you, but paste and copy the link anyway. Share it on Facebook, Twitter. Now, when you share your party on Facebook, this is what you'll see. Amanda's face look party, just like you saw at her party on her website. But don't just use the standard post that we let you post, because that PDF I gave you has all types of pretty pictures and images that allow you to post them on your Facebook page. So it might have, hey, tonight we're going to party in our PJ's motive style. 
and it's a little cartoon that I've made up, and I made up like so many, var Kim was so blown away, I had like, I don't know, 20 different variations of different styles, and 25 more of this, and 10 more of that, and I just had everybody, I didn't even ask the company inside to build it, I did it outside, because I was afraid I would get in trouble if I asked them for anything else. That's why they, I mean, that, we got it done, right? Yeah, but you know what, real quick, Lauren, you know, because I've been having a little popcorn back here, you know, enjoying you. the I show and all that. But um, when it comes to being an unfranchised owner, we all share sometimes friends. We all have sometimes have the same friends. Yeah. What happens if one of my customers was to click on your party link because they're friends of both of us? What would happen when they clicked on that? So, great question. So thanks again to my team over here who's so brilliant. And I literally remember that we had this conversation about two weeks ago when we went through the process. But for some reason, last night about 1 a.m., I called Michael Brady freaking out and Gene Walsh. I'm going, what happens if the customer goes to somebody else's site? And they're already a customer of Tony and Pam. But then she goes to Elizabeth's party. I'm screwed. And they said, no, don't you remember? And I remember what they said. If they go to your party online and they've become your preferred customer, right? Because they made a purchase at your online party and then they decided in a month from now they wanted to go, per they ha just so happened to see another Facebook post that popped up on their Facebook feed and it's Elizabeth's party and that reminds them to go I gotta go to this online party again. I remember I bought that lipstick and I love that lipstick. I'm gonna go back to that party and buy that lipstick. Now, Elizabeth's party's not active anymore. That party's closed. I mean, Pam's party's closed. They click on Elizabeth's party and it'll automatically, without telling that customer what happened, redirect them to Pam and Tony and it will give them the 10% off anyway because we don't want to upset them. We don't want to upset them. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just realized I said a bad word up here and I was sitting here going, I never say bad words on stage. <laughs> but I'm sorry, but I, that's the way I felt when I, when I thought about it in the middle of the night because you're thinking to yourself like, what are we going to do? And thank you for that IT amazing team for thinking that through for us because how else we would have caused people to make up fake profiles. People would have become somebody else's customer under a different email. People need to get the 10% discount anyway if that happens, if it happens. Now, Pam and Tony don't mind giving them the 10% discount because there's no hostess for the party anymore. That party's been closed, so they don't have to pay 15% on it. It's just giving the 10% discount. Does that make sense? Are you guys understanding? Now, keep going. We can turn this. Now, two things that you can do, and we're going to fly through these mm -hmm. fast, right? Go for it. When you host a Moda's party, as I told you, the party lives on your Moda's cosmetic page. However, we're gonna share it on Facebook. You can do that two ways. You can do that by hosting, having a group set up and the hostess and you added as the group admins, or you can host an event. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between the two, Steve, and I'm gonna be quiet and sit back and have some popcorn while you go through this. Yeah, so the thing is, is that when you set up groups and events, they are two different things. When you're setting up a group, you're actually bringing those individuals into a page to where you can actually control. Um, does anybody, does anybody hear Aiden saying up, 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 up? Wow. I hear Aiden saying up, 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 up. Yeah. Hi, Aiden. <laughs> so, when you're setting up a group, um, you're actually bringing them onto a page that you control. And that, that page is actually, let me go over and get to that page. Um, that page is actually allowing you to actually communicate information. So let's first talk then about events. So when you create an event on Facebook, what you're doing is you're creating one calendar event. Now, the challenge with creating those calendar events is, is that they get pushed on a little notification that very few people ever get to see. In fact, most people on Facebook ignore the, that section because they get flooded with a lot of spam events. So this is not something we recommend you doing. What we do recommend you doing is actually setting up a group. 
And when you set up a group, you're actually going to put in all your information on the group, and you're actually going to invite people to be a part of that group. And when you invite them, you also want your friends to also invite others to that party and to that group. You always want to make sure that you leave your group open. The reason why is, is, is that you want anybody to be able to push people into your group. You don't want to just limit it to just, you know, who's going to be in my immediate um, group, but it also shows up on the search with a higher ranking because it knows that anybody can be a part of that. Right, and the only reason you see the closed group there is like I told you when I test marketed it, I did this with the closed group so I wouldn't have people just coming to the party because it wasn't ready to go live yet. I was just inviting people and having to keep track of the orders manually at that time. So of course you set so up the group. fill out information on the group and then now you have the group. But the thing is is that you want to actually go on and start talking about it. You want to be the first one to post within your group. You know, there is nothing more um, intimidating on Facebook than to be the first person that you invite 20 different people to your party and there's no content on your page. Most people do not want to be the first person to actually say something. So go ahead and tell them what this is and go ahead and start with the contact, start with the information. Let them know, here's a perfect example. This was your description where you described exactly what's going on. And then this actually gets posted. So this was one of Lauren's groups that she created well, this was for actually her online a party. I, this was a new group I created using my name just yep. not too long ago the other day after we went live during the test period. But this is what I called the pin post, right? Right. And that's when you saw it, Steve just had before where it said pin post. When you pin a post, that's the post that's going to stay at the top of the page until you change it. So it doesn't ma matter what other engaging conversation goes on during the rest of that party. That that, that pin post will stay at the top, and that basically describes what they're there to do. So what you need to do, make sure you add the group, add people and invite people to that event, and also make sure you add ex exciting photos. Let people know why they want to be a part of it. Let them want to come back to it. And by the way, in a group, there's a tab that says events. So you're going to launch your event through the event tab in the group. So that's where you're launched. So it'll tell you inside your group you have these tabs. Right, exactly. So you have the different photos that you can that you can upload, the tutorials that Lauren is going to provide, a lot of the pictures, a lot of the different things. You can upload anything you want to make it more appealing from that and standpoint. And one of the cool things about that is that you have those tabs where it stores your pictures that you post mm -hmm. and stores your files that you post. The cool thing about that is once you post those at the first party you do, they're saved in this group. So you want to create another group, you can pull photos and documents from the other group and bring them into your new party so you don't have to keep copying and pasting. Do you see what I'm saying? So you've already stored that information. Right. Now, let's see here. What do we have next? Okay, okay so the these are other things. You're going to see the notifications. You'll see, as I do. talked about a theme before, you can create themes. It creates engagement. Use hashtags, wow. motives, PJ night, girls with motives, and do something with those hashtags and themes host a contest or a giveaway. Make sure you're helping the hostess out by not just sending her the script, but getting on the phone or getting on email and engaging with her like I just did with Elizabeth a minute ago. Prepare your hostess for the most successful party. Who benefits most? You. You. She might win some products from you, but you're the one who comes home with retail profit MBV. So you want to treat her right. You want this party to succeed. Now, let me just say one very, very important thing. Nobody likes to be the first person at the party. But somebody's going to be the first person there. Make sure when the first person shows up at the party, there's already engaging content. One thing I noticed when we first launched our first online party, it didn't work so well. And we started to figure out what we were doing wrong. Our second party was a lot better. Why? 
because we already had it loaded up with cool images, interactive content, Q&A. Do you know on a group, you can actually take a poll. There's a place where you can take a poll, ask questions, get answers, collect information. I welcomed every single person to the party personally. I made my hostess welcome every single party to the person, every person to the party personally. You have to do those personal touches. So you have to have at least three posts up there before your party goes live. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So here's all you need for this party. Your comfy clothes, a tasty beverage, and your Facebook page to log on to. All of these pictures have been created for you already. They're already in your back office. As I said, she'll load them up next week. Or you'll say, help Lauren reach her goal while shopping for the looks you love and get 10% off for 48 hours only. Don't wait till it's too late. Moda's invites you to an online cosmetic, cosmetic party, learn about all the hot new products and 10% off during your purchases. Or you can have one like this, it's let's get the party started. This is one to promote hostesses. Pick your perks, pick the date, and we'll pay you. Go ahead. You'll receive an email at the end of the, e at, at the, end of the party letting you know the total amount of sales of the party. So you don't have to do any of the calculations. Can I make this any easier for you? Could they have made this any easier for you? Not only is this live right now, it's live right now, and all you have to do is prime the pump. Jared says prime the pump. You have to prime the party by putting up posts before you start to party. It's simple. You get an email like this that says, hey, thanks for hosting this Moda's online party. This party was gonna tell you your online sales were this amount. And the next email is, Steve, Oh, well, the next email's not there, but you both get yeah. one. You both get one telling you how much in party sales took place. Let me give you an example of what the average order was and the four test parties we did. Now, we have a pretty standard order, right? Right. Of products that sell online. And the reason I know these are the products that sell online is the girls who are the mavens pretty much love these products the most, the beauty weapon, the concealer, uh, the quads, and of course, the Moda's Maven palettes, things like that. This is what a pretty much basic standard order looked like online. It's about less than half of what an in-party person, an uh, in-party uh, home party is. But you don't have to go anywhere. You didn't have to set up. You just had to pre-post. You didn't have to know the people. You didn't have to get dressed. You didn't have to clean the house. You didn't have to, what? No, no inventory. inventory. You didn't have to buy any product. You understand? You just had to go on Facebook, which is where you're hanging out anyway. That's right. You're hanging out anyway on Facebook. Yes or no? You didn't go anywhere. Okay, so let me tell you what you got. $44.50 in retail profit. You lost $90 in retail profit by giving the hostess 15% of the sales of the party, 10% off of the shoppers, so you lost $90, big deal. You would have never made it because you didn't know the people anyway. You made $44.50 from people you didn't know. Bigger than that, you made $295.70 BV from five people. Five people, Steve, yes or no? Yes. Michael Brady, this is a real party, yes or no? We did these parties, this was four average parties. 295 BV, and let me tell you something else. You got five customers for the rest of your life. That's what you got. Real fast, let me tell you this, I'm not gonna go through these slides. Shopbox, the power of Shopbox, the new Shopbox is so powerful. The next phase of this program on Motives and on our other websites is that you can actually create a shop box very soon on MotivesCosmetics.com. So that means that when you're starting the party and going through the steps, you'll be able to create your shop box at the same time. You'll be able to create your shop box at the same time so the products can be purchased right on Facebook. They don't have to go to your Motives Cosmetics site. 
But you as the UFO, you actually get to do both. So if you're hosting the party, you can bring people back to your Modus Cosmetic site, or if you take the little pictures that you featured, those three pictures that you posted that you liked, and you create a shop box, putting those pr products in the shop box on shop.com, you can literally post that shop box to your page on Facebook by adding it to your, your uh, shop box, manage your shop box, click on it, choose the cover that you want for your shop box, and put that on your party page. Why? Because Jean Wallace, thank you, baby, added the online coupon to the shop box. So now your shoppers get 10% off with the shop box. So if you're the host, if you're a UFO, this only works if you're the UFO. Because right now it's only programmed for the UFO to use the 10% off discount on the shop box. On Modus Cosmetics, anyone can host a party with the 10% off. So you click here to process the order, it activates the coupon, it is live in every country. So is the Motives Online Party, okay? The Motives Online Party is being live, I think, in Taiwan, right? Yes, live in Taiwan. Are you guys gonna host some parties out there? Yeah, you guys party all the time. I love it. Okay, next, Steve, we're gonna go fast, wrap this up. Let me just show you this. Of course, the customers can complete their purchases on Facebook. We're gonna show you this last video. We're gonna jump off stage. I wanna just tell you guys this. This is live now. It will be live on your Isotonic site soon. Live on your TLS website soon. You can host health and nutrition parties.